Vitas. I'm from Askimi. I'm the founder and CEO. We created another product with, which is the mobile DSP or mobile programmatic uh, for Africa. Programmatic advertisement is like algorithmic purchase of media. Taking into account the consumers, the devices, the, the habits, the, 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 the advertisers that are here, we created it with specifically with Africa in mind. We kind of understand some of the African consumers and advertisers already. Programmatic gives us the ability to simply send the right message to the right person at the right time and best of all at the right price, which makes our clients very happy. So you're relevant in your communication and you're, you know, budget friendly. So programmatic as a buying environment is absolutely key for the future of communication. Programmatic is not just a new way of buying media, but really it's a new way of thinking. A thinking that's driven by data, by intelligence, not opinion, relationships, feelings, emotions, etc. We are talking about actually reaching the people who really care about and want something to do with the brand. And I feel that's a very important aspect which all media agencies should own and try and sell it to their brands, even those brands who are not really yet into it. At Coca-Cola, we started our programmatic uh, journey about a year ago. Um, actually, in 2015, we did our first programmatic media buy for Share Coke in Nigeria. And then last year, uh, we made a deliberate effort to use programmatic in a lot of our media buys in Africa. Even when you convert the customer into a consumer, the biggest problem we see is that once you get a customer onto your platform, you convert it, the relationship with the customer then stops. So how do we create, sort of use artificial intelligence data technology to create an always-on engagement with our customers? Eskimi or programmatic media is not the future, it is the present today. The technology is ready today. You guys have the inventory today. You have more inventory than Google and Facebook combined have. So it is not about the future, it's about the present. So the question is that, it's, it's not that futuristic technology or futuristic platform that we have to focus on investing in. It is something that is happening today. It is ready to be used today. So really the question to be asked is that how do we get ourselves to get clients to buy into this platform today? Because the problem is that they don't understand this very well today. Currently about 60% of Kenya's population is under 18. Around almost 80% is under 30, right? If we're looking at it from this, that perspective, then we have to be cognizant of the fact that we are in an age of digital natives. And if you look at it from a segmentation point of view, you have Generation Y, which is a tiny percentage, if uh, the, the statistics I've given you are correct. You have Generation Z, where Keith falls from Blaze, one of the contestants on Blaze. And they're the only generation in this country that cannot remember growing up without the internet. Safaricom currently as it sits is very interested in segmentation strategy which means we have to be more cognizant about becoming more relevant to our consumers at a very individual point of view. So people aren't all the same, you can't continue to market them with mass branding and mass targeting. You actually have to look at their daily contextual life interests and actually speak to them from that point of view. So programmatic for us is a very important um, platform in order to deliver to our segmentation strategy. One thing that I really appreciated about the event was the panelists that um, were there, uh, you know, the different industry as experts, you know, the different agency partners that were there. Um, I believe it was, it was well thought out and, and commendable to Eskimi for organizing this event. Uh, you know, I remember uh, the first early years of doing digital here, across the road, we're here in Upper Hill, and, uh, <laughs> and the, the Knowledge and Insights team, they used to sit next to me. They didn't know what I did, I had an idea what they did, and one time one of them came to me and said, you know, we're doing all this um, research, and digital, we're not even asking about digital, but it's coming up, you know, so often. Can you tell me what you guys are doing? And once we can start equating digital to building brand uh, equity, brand affinity, we call it brand love in, in Coca-Cola, building brand love and then eventually linking it to transactional elements, then uh, you will see an increase uh, in the budget. Programmatic is so new in, in Africa that you know, we really need to be coming together in such forums and exploring what the opportunities are, hearing from the experts, 
um, hearing you know, real experiences of what brands have been able to do. So this is really a good forum. I'm happy to be here today. The future is where both media, content, strategy is all centered about how do we make ourselves relevant on the mobile device. And that's why it won't be digital marketing anymore. It will be marketing in a digital world. Wherever you can find data or anything that will, everything should eventually will become programmatic because more and more, like someone already said in the program that you know, outside of Africa, TV is also programmatic. We will try, I think, the way things will move towards is that all sorts of above the line effectively, wherever there is data capturing possible, everything will move into programmatic. After the seminar today, a lot of the clients came to me and they were very really excited. Some of my own clients, like, wow. I mean, you know, they told me that the media guys have been talking to us about programmatic, but we didn't really understand truly the, the power of programmatic uh, uh, and, and what it can deliver for us. So I think it is just really the question of just being persistent at this point of time, doing seminars like this again and again, keep calling clients, keep knocking on the doors, keep talking to them, keep showing them the success stories. And, and I think we are there. I don't, I don't think it's a future question, it's a present question.